Remember, you have got to keep that bandage absolutely dry. That'll be hard when I want to wash up. Uh -huh. Well, you're going to have to practice how to do that with one hand. You're going to be just fine now. Stop by tomorrow if you can. Let us take a look at the bandage, okay? I'll do that. And I'm much obliged to you. You're more than welcome. We'll have see you tomorrow. Night. Oh, that's the last one, and I'm glad I'm so exhausted. Thank you very much for your help, my dear. Oh, I loved helping. <sighs> Must be the Girl Scout in me. Well, you get a merit badge for tonight. You know, Rick seems a little harried now that he's running the hospital and the clinic both mm -hmm. at the same time. I know. It's getting him a little ragged. It's too much for one man. Oh, go try and tell him that. I know. I think there's a lot of Boy Scout in him. Speaking of Scouts. <laughs> I think it's good. So do I, but if you ever tell him that I said so. Uh, by the way, Leslie, while we're on the subject of Rick. Yeah. Do you happen to know what went on between him and Noah this morning? Just a little. Well, I saw Noah for about a minute, just before he went into Rick's office. He was very upset. What did he say? He said something about having to face the music, and you wouldn't get into it beyond that. I see. He's going to stop by and pick me up soon. I hope it is soon, because I'd really like to get this place closed up. Well, he'll be on time, I know that, because we're going to have dinner. My point is, I just thought... You just thought... What? I just thought that maybe it might make my dinner with him go a little bit nicer if I knew exactly what happened between him and Rick. Uh -huh. Okay, well, as much as I know. Uh, Noah evidently operated on uh, little Karen... Uh, Bang, yes, uh, without her parents having signed the consent forms. And Rick gave him quite a lecture about it. Noah doesn't like lectures. Hope he's over it before we go to dinner, because I want him to be in a good mood tonight. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hope Rick's afternoon went better than his morning did. Why? What are you up to? Oh, nothing mysterious. Just dinner. Same thing. Why are you having dinner with Rick? Well, I thought it might be really kind of nice, you know, to have a peaceful dinner with no talk of the hospital or hospital problems. Wouldn't that be lovely? Why is the clinic still open? And a cheerful good evening to you, too. Speed things up a little, we'll get out of here real quick. We're dancing as fast as we can. Let's see, I've had a very long day. Well, so have we all, might I point out. And this person was here because she volunteered her oh, time. Hey, peace, that's okay. I'm oh, sorry, Bobby. I'm tired, I'm grouchy, and. You are a very charming man. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. It's, it's one of those days that had everything in the world been wrong. It would have been wrong today. Yes, but you know, we should never put our burdens off onto other people. Leslie, maybe you haven't heard about Jacob's Law. No, what is it? To err is human. And to blame that error on somebody else is even more human. I like that. I bet you have never heard Kovacs' conundrum. Who's Kovacs what? It goes something like this. Um, when you dial a wrong number, you never get a busy signal. Yeah, a little sad out there tonight, but if you use your imagination, you can see stars and planets. You're in a good mood. Mm -hmm. Why not? Hi, Leslie. Hi there, Noah. Rick. Noah. Oh, I've come to pick you up for dinner. Are you ready? Surprised you didn't get here about an hour ago, Dr. Drake. What do you mean? Well, you left the hospital 30 minutes early. I would say that ought to put you a little ahead of schedule. Yes, well, I, uh, I finished a little early. Doctor, would you tell me how you get these special privileges? Hey, wait a minute. I finished all my rounds. I completed all my work. There was no reason for me to hang around there. Well, for your information, about three minutes after you walked out of the door, the emergency room was overfilled. What are you saying? I'm saying there was a big traffic accident, and we needed every bit of help we could get. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that. Oh, you are sorry? Yes. Well, besides the accident, there was also a catastrophe down in the supply room. What happened? Water pipe burst. Oh, goodness. You have to work like the devil to save thousands of dollars worth of medical supplies. I'm sorry that I wasn't there to help out at the emergency room. Well, in this particular instance, your being sorry didn't help. Didn't help at all. 
Are you saying that I'm supposed to know when some kind of emergency is going to happen? Doctor, had you been there, had you not left early, you would have been able to carry your share of the load. Rick, um, please, hey. maybe... Doctor, just so you know all of the facts, every single available nurse and doctor in the hospital was used to help with those victims of the accident. And once they had that under control, most of them were downstairs, up to their ankles in water, trying to save the supplies. I'm a doctor. Surgeons aren't supposed to double as custodians. Right? Dr. Drake... You signed a contract with General, and once you sign that contract, you are obligated, you are responsible to General Hospital. Now, being a staff doctor here may at some times mean just a little more than dishing out medicine. Oh, I see. We're supposed to also be janitors. Is that right? I'm sorry if the noble Dr. Drake may have gotten his hands a little dirty outside of just going inside the scrub room. Hey, look, look. I mean, you got some kind of chip on your shoulder, and I don't get it. Now, I took a beating from you this morning because by some hospital rule, I was wrong. Now, I stand by what I did. And I'd operate on that little girl again exactly the same if the circumstances were the same, no matter what a hospital rule says. And I'm not going to stand here and have you read me out because I didn't slop water in some basement. Now, right here, right now, we're off duty. So why don't you get off my case? Dr. Drake, you're standing in my clinic. I want you out now. Gladly. And you do not leave the hospital tomorrow until 3.30, which is the normal checkout time. You got that? Yes, doctor. Thank you. Is this yours? Uh... How'd you like to have dinner with me? I would like that, I see. But... but? Well, I'm afraid maybe another time would be better. I wanted to check all these records for the clinic, and I think the mood I'm in right now might not be the best for me. Uh, sure. I understand. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Rick? Maybe you were a little bit hard on Noah just now? No, Leslie, I do not. Well, now, the, the thing about operating without a signed consent form, I could certainly understand, but really and truly, the supply room was something else. Y you know, Noah is new. You can't expect him to have the same sort of um, family feeling that we have about the hospital. Leslie, please. Don't make any alibis for him. I'm right? not. I'm really not. I'm just saying you can't expect him to feel the same way that we do. Not yet, anyway. And I think he really does mean well. Well, he has a very strange way of showing that. Maybe he just needs that little bit of time to make the adjustment. Leslie, I really feel what he needs is discipline. He's a fine surgeon, I will admit that. But how he got through his residency with his attitude, I just don't understand. Richard Weber? Yes, Leslie? I would like to say something here. Please do. When I was, um... watching you two go at it there, um... I thought to myself, <laughs> that's the Rick I know. It certainly was part of the Rick I loved. But then I realized that it was that part of Rick that helped destroy our marriage. You are a very dear fellow. But sometimes people can't really understand you because... because you can seem a little rigid at times. It rules and, and uh, discipline and going by the book and duty, those are all terribly important to you, but I think you have to remind yourself sometime not to demand more of people than they are able to give. We are, after all, only human. Even you. <laughs> 